Today I have some very interesting images to show you from Tesla Giga Texas. Thanks to our friend Joe Tegmeyer who always uh, chronicles Giga Texas's progress. Tesla Giga Texas Model Y stock has doubled to over 400 and more supercharging stalls are being installed at Giga Texas as well. So the latest flyover videos over the Tesla Giga Texas uh, or Giga Tex uh, Tesla Giga Austin plant recorded on March 9 reveal more than 430 made in Texas Tesla Model Y. By the way, friends, in the future, if you see Giga Texas and MIT, that means made in Texas. So we're seeing more than 430 made in Texas Tesla Model Ys on the Giga Texas property. That's over 200 more than on February 27, when we counted about 230. This is why I said they have doubled. It would suggest that the average increase in the number of cars in front of the Giga Texas plant is above 20 per day over the past 10 days. So is it safe to say Tesla has built at least 20 Tesla Model Y vehicles at Giga Texas and the production is ramping up? That's natural to say. We don't know whether it's the total of the net difference because some of the cars might be taken out already. But regardless of that, it's clearly an early ramp up phase at Tesla Giga Texas. Now, what we can notice is that basically all of the cars are black or blue. I like the black color. What about you, friends? The vast majority of made at Giga Texas Model Y appear to have 19 inch Gemini wheels associated with the entry level Model Y long range all wheel drive version. Some have different wheels, probably the 21 inch Uber Turbine wheels, which are associated with the performance version, uh, notes Mark Kane in Inside EVs. Now, he says, let's recall the manufacturer has not yet announced the versions of Model Y that will be produced at Gigafactory Austin, nor has it stated specs or prices besides confirming the use of 4680 type cylindrical battery cells and structured battery packs. By the way, if you are interested in the 4680 battery cell, uh, cylindrical battery cells used at Giga Texas, look at my yesterday's report. It's very important report because looks like Tesla may have created a problem problem for itself. Now, there are several potential options for the made in Texas Tesla Model Y. First, long range all wheel drive, standard specs, but with 4680 cells. Second, performance, standard specs, but with 4680 cells. Third, third option is both versions, long range all wheel drive and performance, which will come standard specs, but with 4680 cells. And fifth, uh, actually, fourth, a completely new type or types of cars with significantly different specs. Why not? Tesla can do this at Giga Texas. Now, market launch of the made in Texas Tesla Model Y is expected this month, just like Giga Factory Berlin, which Tesla announced two days ago that will start deliveries in March 22nd. While on April 7, the company has scheduled the Giga Fest event, which might be attended by up to 15,000 people, according to the latest reports via Joe Techmeyer's video. To support the volume production, Tesla is installing more supercharging stalls at the Gigafactory Texas site. A new station with 12 new stalls is currently under construction in close proximity to the parking for the newly produced cars. Considering the ambitions and what we saw at Tesla Giga Shanghai plant, the company Tesla might soon build much larger charging stations with 100 plus stalls. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. Tesla Giga Factory Austin um, in Texas now works started on July 17, 2020. 2,481 acres of land. Model Y launch is expected in quarter one, 2022. Like I said, maybe in March. And Cybertruck, that's you know, was supposed to be called Cybertruck Giga Factory, is in development, unveiled in late 2019. Production is expected to be in 2023 at least. But for now, the exciting news is that 
Tesla Giga Texas at Giga Texas Model Y stock has doubled to over 400 compared to February 27 report. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Let me know what you think about the start of Giga Texas production, the ramp up, the potential, and so on. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Please share in social media. I would greatly appreciate. Tweet it out and so on. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. There is breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin friends today. Tesla confirms that Giga Berlin made or German made Model Ys are starting to de be delivered on a specific day in this month in March. Does anyone know if there is a specific VIN tracker for Giga Berlin made Model Ys? If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below. It will be interesting to track them. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan back from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. So Tesla has confirmed that deliveries of Model Y vehicles built at Tesla Giga Berlin are starting this month on March 22. Last week, after months of delays, Tesla finally received its official building permit following the environmental approval of its Gigafactory Berlin project. It was believed to be the last regulatory step needed for Tesla to officially start production at Gigafactory Berlin. However, the approval was conditional on about 400 different conditions that Tesla needed to confirm. Tesla said it will confirm in about next two weeks. It would be it would actually put the start of production and deliveries uh, at Giga Berlin at the end of March. Now, since production actually already unofficially started with hundreds of Model Y vehicles spotted coming out of the plant uh, uh, from Giga Berlin. Now, Tesla has now confirmed and started sending out invitations for a delivery event on March 22. Are you guys nearby Giga Berlin? Are you going to attend? Let me know if you are. Send me some pictures or some videos I will share in this channel, friends. If you guys know, you, you know how to contact me. As we previously reported, Gigafactory Berlin is critical for Tesla's plans to expand in Europe and improve its manufacturing and distribution efficiency throughout its entire operations. Once fully ramped up, Giga Berlin is expected to greatly reduce Tesla's need to import cars from factories in the US and China. In turn, that would enable more capacity for those markets and keep vehicle production closer to the end cons uh, customers. The new Giga Berlin factory is also expected to greatly help Tesla's financials by reducing transit times. Since Tesla owns its vehicles until they are 100 over actually handed over to the final customers vehicles in transit for a long time like on both uh, boats across the ocean are a big financial strain on the company march 22nd will mark an important step for tesla by starting deliveries of european made vehicles and putting it on a path of better logistical efficiency now i don't know if this means tesla will receive its operation license before uh, march 22nd but probably yes after it comes uh, complies with the 400 uh, conditions that the final permit gave on that. So like I said before, does anyone know if there is a VIN tracker for Berlin vehicles like there was for initial MP3 uh, M Model 3 ramp? Uh, this would be interesting for Berlin and Austin as well. Now first we take Shanghai, then we take Berlin. The quality of German built Model Y, I think, will be inspected under microscope. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. I'll read your comments below and I would greatly appreciate if you would share it with friends. Have a great day. God bless you and let's move on to our next Tesla story.